Hey, what's going on everybody? Tricker here, and today we have some exciting news for the weekend. Some exclusive weekend news brought to you by Tricker. So, today is an exciting day. It's my birthday, so we'll get that out of the way. Just about to go to the gym, and thought I'd put out a quick little video here just before I get the festivities started. So, Wags put out a couple things here on the Viper Mini updates on the forum. I'll link those in the description below. Um, the Detox mode is going to be updated with the correct uh, HUD symbology. And then also, pretty awesome uh, development here to finish out a vi uh, busy Viper development week. We've added mark point exchange between flight members, which we talked about in a previous video. And they also hear the lock voice message lock. when you have a single target track. So, exciting news for the Viper. So hopefully that comes out pretty soon. Uh, now on to the newest updates here, and it's on the FLIR. And the FLIR images and videos that have been teased lately are amazing. Now, I was in the military, but I was a firefighter, so I didn't get to work with FLIR, but I've seen FLIR in civilian aircraft, not in military aircraft, but it looks pretty realistic uh, from my experience. And this was in the latest weekend news development update. And it says our new FLIR technology is progressing well. It takes into account how various terrain elements are rendered in the IR spectrum. This includes large masses of water, vegetation, asphalt, and concrete. Uh, they have higher thermal retention capacities. And I'm pretty impressed. Uh, let's look at some of the screenshots here. Uh, here's some one of the screenshots. And it looks pretty realistic, man. I, I'm, I'm excited for the FLIR technology, especially for the targeting bot, not only for the Apache, but also for all the other targeting pods as well. Now, here's another picture. Now, pictures don't do justice here. It looks amazing. I uh, can't wait to use this because for so long, for years now, the TGP FLIR capability has been uh, pretty lackluster. I mean, it'll get you there, but you're always like zooming in on bushes when you think it's a tank. And you're always like, you know, expanding the FOV. You're like, is that a, is that a tank and it's a bush? So hopefully this really helps out with this new technology. And uh, it's quite impressive. Some really good pictures here on the DCS. This is on the Eagle Dynamics uh, website. And it's all over Twitter, Discord, everybody's sharing these. And just by looking at these pictures here, they look really comparable to any combat footage that you see. Not saying that that's all realistic. Uh, you know, we get the best compression of all the videos for FLIR, but uh, I mean, from what I've seen in my experience, you know, civilian wise, this looks really realistic and I've talked to a couple people that are active and uh, in the military and they say that it's pretty good and, you know, best case scenario that uh, everything is correct, like the lighting and the contrast and everything. So really impressive. And also WAGS put out a new TADS video and we'll link that in the description below. Also in the clicky clicky up here, if you want to click on that. And we'll take a little look at that here in just a second. Also in development, besides the FLIR, is the S3 Viking. And this is for just the AI, you know, just for the AI. But uh, the new pictures, you know, if we go back, sorry, going back here, these are some of the new pictures for the S3 model and pretty impressive. I think we can all agree that the S3 right now does not look the greatest, but it gets the job done. But exciting news on the uh, news front for Eagle Dynamics. So a bunch of stuff coming out for the weekend news. Let's take a look at that WAGS video. Okay, so here's the WAGS video from the TADS. This was released today on Saturday, February 12th, 2022 for the Apache. And it's quite amazing. I mean, the graphics look amazing. The artwork on the Apache is coming along nicely. I'm very impressed. It's looking great. And I'm glad that they decided to delay it and not trying to bring up any controversy or anything. Just I'm glad they decided to, you know, delay it to get things right. And just in this video here, you can see Wags using the tads here and changing different polarities. White hot, black hot. Zooming in. I mean, it looks great. And right here, he's trying to lock onto this little uh, 
it's like a van and you can see the street lights you can also see the different thermal you know temperatures on the van itself and it's just looking great um everything about the apache and the recent videos that wags have been putting out is just it's it's looking outstanding so can't wait for it i'm sure it's going to be a couple more months uh, i've been saying it for a while now on my stream i'm still thinking march or april uh end of first quarter for 2022 for this thing to come out but so far excited for the apache especially for the multi-crew capabilities now if you don't know casmo make sure you check out casmo tv i'll link that in the description below he's got a great uh, a lot of great youtube videos coming out on explaining different things for the apache he's one of the smes so please show your support give some follows show some support for the community here's another video for the apache from glowing amram released by eagle dynamics and oh my god like look at that i don't pause it right here but look at this this is looking really nice i'm excited for this thing right here oh real excited so can't wait for the apache to come out and the new FLIR technology it is looking very sexy so again, thanks everybody for joining. This was a weekend news update by Trigger. Make sure you check me out on uh, Twitch as well. I stream a lot of Tarkov, DCS, all sorts of different stuff. We're always having fun. Join the Discord. My selfish self-plug right here. I'm terrible at self-promotion. But anyway, if you like what you see, let me know. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. Fly safe. We'll see you next time.